Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. I actually had a different dish planned for today, but one of my viewers mentioned that they had just a abundant crop of zucchini and they were looking for recipes for zucchini. So I thought this would be a fun recipe to share. I'm working on another zucchini recipe. So I will be coming back with one. But for today, I thought this is something fun, light, quick for the summer. So I'm going to do fried zucchini. Now I did something a little different this time. And that is, uh, and this is based on viewer tips. I took and I had the zucchini and you'll see I soaked it and I marinated it in Italian dressing and I let it set for a while. So now instead of just taking the zucchini and dipping it in my different preparations to fry, I have a, a base coating of flavor on it. So thank you for that tip. So what I'm gonna do, you're, what you're gonna need for this recipe, of course, you'll need the zucchini. You'll also need some bread crumbs. I like the Progresso garlic and herb if I'm gonna use pre-made. I actually do like making my own bread crumbs, but that can be kind of a hassle in a van. So I use this and then I, I boost it up a little bit. I add some more Italian seasonings. I add a little bit of my sole seasoning and just a few other things that um, that are helpful to boost up. You can also, oh yeah, I forgot. You can also add some Parmesan, some grated Parmesan cheese. That really um, gives it a real kick. So what we're gonna do, and please don't mind, I have a little paper towel here to kind of bring my butane stove up. We're on a slant and I don't have automatic levelers. So I had to put something to kind of raise it up. So if you're wondering what that paper towel is, that's my makeshift butane stove leveler. To coat your zucchini, you're going to need flour, eggs. I just beat up some eggs. You can add a little cream or milk to them if you want, but I just have plain eggs here. And then I have the breadcrumbs that I've enhanced with my own personal flavoring. And among those flavorings, again, you can add some parsley flakes, you can add onion powder, some additional oregano leaves, some Italian seasoning, just whatever your preference is to add to the bread crumbs. So what I'm going to do is I have my oil heating here. So I'm going to take, and I try to get the zucchini, I try to get it cut and sliced about the same size so that they would cook evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and I'm going to dip this in flour. Then I'm going to do an egg dip here. And then I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to put it in the breadcrumbs. Now before I put it in the skillet, I'm going to let these all just rest for a minute so that the coating can adhere to it better. So I'm going to go through this process with all of these, coat them. Again, the same thing, let them rest. So I'm gonna do that to each of these, and then we'll come back once I have each of these coated. They've rested for a second, and I'll come back and let you see, oops, how they're gonna fry up here. It can be very tedious just doing one at a time, so you can do several slices at a time in the flour so it can be ready when you come back, but you don't wanna leave several slices laying in the egg but you can leave them in the flour so that you can just come over and coat it back. All right, we'll be back in a, in a jiffy. Well, I think this is just about done. I did about three minutes on either side and I turned it over. We're gonna go ahead and take these out and do the fun part, which is sampling. But I wanna show you how they should look when you get done with them. Uh, 
And what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try some with the mild buffalo sauce, sweet baby rays, and I'm going to try some with the ranch sauce. So let's go ahead and get this, get these on here, and we'll come back in a second and we'll taste them. Now let's do the fun part, which is the tasting. My cameraman already tasted it and he gave it his thumbs up, but let me see how it is. I'm gonna get one that has some ranch dressing on it here. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. -hmm. I can taste the oregano, the basil. Mmm. The ranch, the tanginess of the ranch. And you know, adding that Italian dressing before him just finished it off perfectly. If you don't mind, I'm going to have one more. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be delicate here. I'm just going to put the whole thing in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Absolutely delicious. One thing I'm going to recommend to you, I noticed that with the um, marinade and the Italian seasoning, it did clump up a little bit in the egg. So what I would recommend is if you're going to marinate it in the Italian seasoning, which I highly recommend, that you whip the eggs up more. Don't let them be as, as um, solid as I have them. Whip them up till they're good and whipped, and even add a couple of tablespoons or one tablespoon or so of either cold milk or ice cold water to thin it out a little bit and then just whip it. I, I think that would make it easier to prepare, but this is just delicious. My cameraman, as I said, already tasted it and he gave it his thumbs up, so I know it's a good dish. I just wanna thank you so much for joining in and I believe we're gonna be at 4,000 in another week. Can you believe that? And oh, I can't forget the viewer tip of the week. This is really an interesting one. Let me get my phone here. I had planned for these viewer tips to be tips exactly on cooking, but, excuse me, I, I got a comment on my fettuccine Alfredo that I thought I wanted to share with you. It's not exactly a tip, but it's some insight into the history of fettuccine Alfredo. This comment was, I know I'm probably pronouncing the name incorrectly, so please forgive me, but it was submitted by Inez D. Lelilo, D, and then it's L-E-L-I-O, D. Lelio, I believe. Anyhow, what she said is that this recipe for fettuccine Alfredo, the base of my dish, was actually developed by her grandfather. And it's what she says is, it's my pleasure to tell you the history of my grandfather, Alfredo de Lelio, who is the creator of fettuccine Alfredo. Who knew? She said in 1908, in the, how do you spell this, Trattoria? Trattoria, run by his mother in Rome, he was developing this dish because his wife was pregnant and she could not eat anything or didn't have a taste for anything. So he was trying to develop something that his wife could eat. And that's when he came up with this and they originated it in 1908. The family still has a restaurant in Rome and the nephew of her grandfather now runs that restaurant in Rome. So I thought that was a really interesting bit of history on Fettuccine Alfredo. And if you want to read it, you can go to my, um, my video on the chicken Fettuccine Alfredo and it's Inez de Lelio, 
who submitted that comment in that history about this dish who she shared was developed by her grandfather back in 1908. So again, thank you so very much. And we are going to be having more viewer tips and actually tidbits and do send in some recipes. I haven't received any recipes from you and I would love to receive some recipes. And we're still on route to 5,000 and alive at 5,000 to celebrate with a giveaway. So be blessed. Thank you. May your journeys be filled with joy and blessings. Till next Thursday at the same time, remember to hit that bell for notifications, subscribe, and stay tuned because we have exciting things coming up, including a visit to a very special place. I don't know whether that's going to be this week coming up or in another week or so, but it will be soon. Thank you so much. Again, may your journeys be filled with joy and blessings. Till next Thursday. Bye, friends.